Uh-huh. Y'all ain't ready for this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go. Yeah. Listen. Uh-huh. Check it. Let these bars give you an introduction. Chases. Sweet touch protection when she touch it. Hey, baby, you're gonna love it. And I'm gonna spit this person giving you a summary of it. Jewelry so sparkling, she touch it. Grab so dope, she touch it. Ace, Casey, cause she touch it. Abracadabra rest. Oof, the sound of fabulous. Make no mistake, uh-uh. Rap, arts, and cake, she creates some breaks and shifts. Running great legs, stay. Set a spark, contact her today. Passionately intrigued, our love is on this way. The mind is a terrible thing to waste, and I want to welcome all to Passionately Intrigued Arts, and this is Tracy. I wanted to use my creative juices by creating um, wall decor, a piece of art to go onto the wall. I have a 8 by 10 black canvas, and I'm using fettuccine yarn, along with a glue gun, scissors, and a few other items. I take the yarn and cut strips, different sizes, approximately 12, 15 inches. I cut them all up. I use the entire spool of fettuccine yarn. Once I have cut them all up, I tie a knot at the end of each string each piece of yarn. It was quite a few, so I did not show all of this on camera. I just want to show you a sample of what how I uh, did this. So I cut out 12 right now and uh, knotting the ends of these 12 strands of fettuccine yarn. And I did speed this up quite a bit. So once I've knotted the ends of the yarn, I cut the ends off at the top of the knot so that it is smooth at that very top of the knot because what I will be doing is placing this onto the canvas strategically with my hot glue gun. So as you see, I've already started and got quite a bit of this done, but I just wanted to show you that I just place a bead of hot glue at the end of the knot, at the top of the knot, and I'm placing them and holding them down for a few seconds. Mm -hmm onto the black canvas. And 
and as I place the glue on it, I just push it real close next to the previous ones that I have laid down, forming solid, a solid base. I didn't want any spaces in between as I laid it down. That's why I used the entire spool of fettuccine yarn. Place the glue, push it in tight, and hold on for a few seconds. So I'm taking three strands and braiding it down. I'm going to do the whole process, complete this whole um, piece of work here with all these braids. Braiding them all the way down to the end until I finish with all of these strands of uh, fettuccine yarn. Then I'll tie, tie it up with a rubber band at the end of each of these uh, braids. And I'm not going to bore you with all of this uh, 10 or so minutes of braiding. I've shortened the uh, clip and also speeded it up just to show you the process of what I'm doing. I am now at the last two braids, finishing it up, and my next process will be taking my fabric scissors and clipping all the ends off, trying to get them as even as possible. And it's a possibility, I'm not sure yet. I did a couple of these uh, in the end where I took a piece of the material from the braid and wrapped it around and glued it instead of using these rubber bands. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all that with each one of these, but it does look better without the rubber bands with the material wrapped around the end. If you like what you see thus far, hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted and stay tuned for the next video completing this with other mixed media pieces. Hit the like button, leave me some comments, and definitely stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Peace and love as always. And I'm out.